beautiful people. Welcome back and happy Easter to you all. I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. I love this season. Springtime is so beautiful with all the different flowers popping up and all the gorgeous color that's everywhere. And uh, tonight we're going to use some really beautiful colors from this little piggy pigments that I'm very, very excited about. I love these three. These are some of my favorites. This first one we're using is Unicorn. Can you see that each way? Mm -hmm. And we have my mint chip, my current little love affair that I'm having. <laughs> and one of my all-time favorites, almost gone, this one is golden peach, which I absolutely love. So we're gonna use these three very pretty pastel -y colors that have some color shift on them with some 24 karat gold and some pearly white. And I hope we're gonna do something really, really pretty. So this is an 18 by 24 inch canvas, gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have painted my sides and edges with my pearly white base coat and I have taped and pinned the back. So that's ready to go. Let me just show you the consistency on these. These are all mixed according to my Tipsy Piggy recipe where I disperse the pigments in some isopropyl alcohol and then I add my pouring medium. The pouring medium I'm using is my Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss with Floetrol. And the only difference between the way I mix the piggies and regular acrylic paints is I add a couple of ounces of pouring medium to the cup, I add the piggies to it, I stir it up, and for the regular acrylic paints, I would fill the rest of the cup with Floetrol, but because the piggies are somewhat thinner, I actually fill the rest of the cup with just the pouring medium. So this doesn't have any additional Floetrol, this is just pouring medium and the piggies mixed into the isopropyl alcohol. Okay, so what we're gonna do we're gonna take two of these seven ounce cups. For an 18 by 24, we need about 16 ounces of paint. These are seven, nine ounce cups, so that'll be about 18 ounces. I'm totally okay with that. And we're just gonna do some flip cups, and then I think I'm gonna use my golf ball to roll around and then uh, stretch it out. So rather than stretching it first and then using the golf ball, I wanna actually do the golf ball before I tilt it out. So we'll see how that goes. So we're gonna start off with some of the unicorn in the bottom of both cups. And then I'm going to use that beautiful mint chip. And then we're going to come in with a layer of the white. And now we're going to use some beautiful... Actually, first we're going to do the golden peach. But I did want that barrier of the white between the golden peach and the, the mint chip. And I'm gonna put some gold on there. And I'm gonna put another layer of white. So I'm not expecting this to be very bold and vibrant. I'm expecting it to be more subtle and pastel-y and very, very pretty. So there's our unicorn. And I'm expecting when it dries to see that unicorn do that beautiful magic trick where it shifts. And now we're going to put a little bit of layer of white. And then a little layer of gold. And some golden peach. And then we're going to end it with another layer of white. So the last time I did this, I had um, a base coat on there and I actually didn't like it as much, so I'm not gonna do that this time. I am gonna pour a little puddle of gold over here and we're gonna flip the cup into that, this beautiful pastel -y Easter cup. Also, I want to take a moment and wish my friend Kelly from Feral Art a very, very happy birthday. Please check out her channel on Feral Art on YouTube. I have a feeling she's gonna be doing something really fun today, so please be sure to check her out. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, ma'am. Here we go. Now flip that one over. I'm just gonna give that a second. We're gonna flip this one out before we do the other one, just so we have a good idea of where it's going to end up. Ready, darling? Yes. Here we go. I'm only gonna lip it like once. That's really pretty. I do want those softer pastel tones where I can see the golden peach, I can see the mint chip, and I can see the unicorn. So that's really, really cool. I'm going to pour a little bit of gold over here. And let's flip this one out too. 
Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. I think this is going to be pretty seltastic. <laughs> <laughs> seltastic. <laughs> ready, honey? Yes. Okay, we're going to lift it up and just lip it once. There we go. Very pretty. Very pretty. I'm very happy with those. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's take a little bit of that unicorn and just go around these a little bit. Just to give us a little bit more of a flow extender and if some of that stays on the canvas, that's totally fine with me. I'm okay with that. Okay. All right, now, this is the part Let's torch it first, actually. Look at all these pretty cells coming up. They're so pretty. I don't know, we may not even need, well, yeah, I still want to do the golf ball. Okay, so we're going to take our golf ball. We're not going to go crazy with this, just a little bit. You think I should torch it first? No, let's torch it afterwards. All right, we're going to start with this. Oh. Let's put it right here, okay? Yep. All right. We're going to go minimally. <laughs> Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. So there is a lot of paint on here, and I'm okay with that. I wanted that actually for the golf ball so that it moves really easy. Okay, I think I'm gonna take that one off there, and then we're gonna move it over here. Let's put it here, yeah? Okay. Let's move it around a little bit. much more of a flow extender on here so let's just tilt this out and see how it goes okay because there's quite a bit of paint on here we're gonna walk this down down to this corner and go off that edge nice and easy and bring it back to the center and we're gonna take it down off of this edge so pretty already and those piggies are gonna pop you can get all of your this little piggy pigments at fluid art co www.fluid-art.co yeah that's it okay now we've got it what am I doing trying to do clean? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take this off of this corner. Really pretty. Beautiful pastel colors. So usually I like to pour with very bold, bright colors, but that doesn't mean that I don't enjoy the softer side of things. And I don't like seeing the beautiful pastel colors and that shimmer. This is really pretty. I'm just gonna take it down to that side and then we'll go off the edge. I'm gonna take a little bit of the paint that's on the table and just spread it up here just to give our paint something to slide on nice and easy. Mm -hmm. 
você. I forgot to change my boots and I don't want to get paint on these. <laughs> okay. That's really cool looking. Can you see the subtle nuances each way? Uh, yeah. this little piggy pigments it's nice to use an opaque color in between them because some of them are kind of transparent and if you just lay your piggy on top of piggy on top of piggy you lose some of the colors but if you use white in between some of the layers it really gives it a nice opacity and contrast so that those sparkly piggies really pop Let's this. Pretty cells coming up in there. Okay. Awesome. All right. That's looking pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. What do you think, HOA? Yeah. And a very nice, soft, ethereal, pretty, pretty palette here with that beautiful unicorn, which is going to shift. And I see the mint chip in there, nice and, and strong. And the golden peach, of course, is one of my favorite colors because it's so pretty. It's like this beautiful peachy pink almost. But when you put it next to gold, it does some amazing things in there. You almost get these bronzy, coppery kind of tones. Really, really pretty. I'm glad there's not too much white. And again, we expected a pastel painting. So this is very pretty. I'm very happy with this one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one too. I will show you guys when it's dry. I wish you all a very, very happy Easter. And like I said before, please take a moment and go check out Feral Art for her birthday and wish her a happy birthday. And uh, we'll see you guys real soon. We'll be right back with the dried results. This is a couple days later. This one on the left is the one that we painted on camera. I love how this turned out. These colors are just so beautiful and soft and shimmering and ethereal. Just beautiful. Look at those cells. Gorgeous to see that unicorn. You see the mint chip. It's not totally dry in the center, so we're not getting the bling and the shifting on the unicorn yet. But I was so happy with that first one. I came in last night and poured another one with the leftover paint. And I love this. I love how the two of them turned out. Those colors just together are fantastic. That golden peach with the gold is just gorgeous. And then the unicorn in there and then the mint chip is just so soft and whimsical and beautiful. I really, really like these two a lot. Very, very pretty. I'm so happy and pleased with these. So... Thank you guys so much for being here. I wish you all a very, very happy Easter. I hope you have a wonderful day with your loved ones and the Easter bunny. <laughs> and uh, I wish you lots of joy and laughter and peace and love and always light. So thanks for being here. We'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.